Hey folks, Ben from Snowy's here. Today, behind me, I've got set up the Coleman Instant Swagger 1P tent. It's on top of the optional stretcher here at the moment. In this video though, we're taking you for a walkthrough of all the features of the tent. Hit it. So the Swagger 1P is a lightweight alternative to a swag, features an instant up frame and features that make it integrate with the optionally available Instant Swagger stretcher. Before we dive into this product, there is loads more content like this on our YouTube channel. So make sure you like and subscribe and you'll get notified of all of our latest content. Now let's jump in. We're down here at the Brown Hill Creek Tourist Park, overcast day, nice little uh, creek noise in the background there for a bit of tranquility. Covering off on the boring bits first, the tent behind me here, the Swagger one weighs about seven kilos. Comes in this storage bag here, which is about 110 centimeters long, by about 20 centimeters in height and depth. And when it's set up, the tent measures roughly 230 centimeters in length this way and about 160 centimeters in width, depending on how you set it up, but it's about 160 centimeters to the edge of the vestibule here. And height wise, with it on top of this optional stretcher, and I do stress this doesn't come included with the Swag One, this is an extra accessory. It is designed to be integrated with this. So it's the best setup with this, but I'm just talking about the tent on top today. But if you do set it up with that stretcher, it's about 140 centimeters to the top here. If you just set this up directly on the ground, it's about a meter from the base of the tent to the top here. Fabrics is 150 denier polyester with a 1500 millimeter water head. So nice and waterproof. Um, doesn't have any dark coating on the back or anything like that. So you will get light in in the mornings, but it's gonna keep you nice and dry and it's all weatherproofed. Does have some mesh in it. So in the windows here, there is a mesh, not a super fine mesh, but look, it does the job. Um, it's not a no seam mesh. I don't think that's gonna keep midges out. That's the, the only issue with that, but um, it, it's still gonna keep mosquitoes and larger insects out. Bit of a walk around the outside here. Uh, starting on this end, that is a window there. You've got guy ropes on the end. Another important note to remember is on the inner of this tent, these guy ropes are mirrored on the inside. So you can actually send, set just the inner of this tent up without the need for the fly sheet because you've got guy ropes for stability on the inner, actually attached to the inner of the tent. Moving around, you've got extra guy uh, peg points here. If you peg all these out, it gives extra protection around the edge of the tent so you don't get water pulling in underneath on the stretcher there. You've got color coded um, options on the fly sheet so you can easily orient it. At the rear here, you've got this big vent that comes out and that coincides with a vent that we'll show you inside shortly, but there's a zipper up under here that allows for the circle ventilation. So you've got venting on the side here as well as that window at the end. Around on the other end of the tent here, another window, same as the other end here. You can set this up in multiple ways as a weather protected awning, zip to close or roll it open completely um, to expose the little mesh triangle window on the end there. So you've got one of those at each end. Now this tent does attach specifically or actually attach to the stretcher underneath. So check out our setup video for how these clips or how this is attached here, but there's four points in which this is attached to the stretcher and it's got extra guy ropes here as well. So you can actually peg it out with consideration of this being set up on a stretcher. Ideally, this is designed for use with the stretcher, but you can also just set it up on the ground. As I mentioned, we've got a setup and pack down video on all of that. Check it out. We're coming into the front of the tent here where we've got the vestibule and the awning and your, and your multiple setups here. So these poles are about 140 centimeters in length. So this awning slopes up a little bit, comes down to about 130 centimeters in head clearance here. This awning comes about 85 centimeters out from the edge of the inner tent here. So you've got a good amount of space here just to keep yourself dry if you're getting changed or want to sit on the edge of the tent. You can also zip this closed to this section here to create a weather protected vestibule. And this comes out about 50 centimeters thereabouts, depending on how you peg it out. So you've got enough space to sort of put a bag or something in here if you like. On top of that, you can just roll this awning up against the, the, the top here. So if you don't want this either set up for shade or zipped closed, just roll it up along the top here. And you can then use these doors to, to keep it open at night for extra ventilation if you like. Moving towards the inner of the tent, um, firstly the floor. Now this is a tarp type material, so like your regular tarp. So it's got a crinkly sort of feel, but it's a really durable material. All these tarps are really durable, weather resistant material and are completely waterproof. So that's gonna keep you nice and dry. And it's a bucket floor that comes up about sort of 10 to 15 centimeters on the side there. So if you did have this set up on the ground in wet weather, that's still gonna keep you nice and dry. Now the doors to the inner tent here is a double door. so. They can be secured by flaps here, rolled to the side. Um, you've got this zipped completely closed here at the moment. So if we wanted to have full weather protection, we can zip that right up. 
Alternatively, this inner panel is adjustable from the inside here, so you can unzip that and just have the mesh panel open if you like. So you've got ventilation through the tent, that's gonna work with the, the windows at each end and the vents at the rear. Now the inner fabric is also 150 denier polyester. So this fabric here is 150 denier polyester. So the fabric technically is waterproof, same as the fly, but the inner's not seam sealed. So this doesn't have a seam seal on it, whereas the fly sheet does. So this seam here is waterproof, this one is not. That means that the inner is going to keep you dry in a light shower, but don't rely on it in heavy rain to keep you dry inside. I'd say if it's going to be rain, put the fly sheet on. I'm moving inside the tent here because I've got this set up on top of the optional stretcher. Really comfortable just sitting inside the door here underneath the awning. Now features inside, before we go into our dimensions, uh, we have got uh, down in the corner here, this is a little weather protected um, entry point for power so we can get 12 volt power or 240 volt power inside here for lighting if we like having a look if we move across the front of the tent here not much to see but we do have a little lantern hanging hook on the top here and that's secured to the pole or the actual frame at the top there so you could hang a reasonable lantern on there if it's too big obviously there's not a lot of space inside here so just a small usb rechargeable lantern will be fine in there across to the end here you can see we've got the the um vent or that window at the end there with an internally adjustable vent. So we can just zip that closed or open. Probably just open it a little bit for ventilation. And directly below that, a mesh pocket for storage. Moving around to the rear of the tent, this vent here, which we can open and close from the inside that coincides with that large sort of circle vent that we've pegged out at the rear there. So we can open that for ventilation. That doesn't have a little tab to secure it. You can just kind of tuck it in on itself there to keep it out of the way. And then around to the other end of the tent, pretty much a mirror of what we saw at the, the first end that we looked at. Door, or, sorry, window uh, in with the internally adjustable flaps there. You can't adjust the external window from the inside. You have to get out to do that, the window that's on the fly sheet. And then below that, another mesh pocket for storage as well. Now in terms of dimensions inside the tent here, about 85 centimeters from where you're sitting here to the top. Now, because I'm sitting on the stretcher, I've sunk down a little bit, so I've got a little bit more clearance for my head here. In terms of length, 210 centimeters in length, and the ends are quite upright. So there is quite a bit of space for your feet. It doesn't slope back this way. So you've got a good 210 centimeters of length to use here, and about 90 centimeters in width. Now you could probably fit a reasonable king size mattress in here, but an air bed, for example, you probably have to put it in here and inflate it while it's inside because you're probably not going to be able to squeeze it through the door here while it's set up. So I haven't got a, a um, mattress to put in here for you today, but I will lie down in here. I'll try not to get too much mud inside the tent just to give you an idea of how much space there is. Now I'm 185 centimeters. If I lie down, I've got heaps of space. My feet straight up at the end there. Heaps of space not touching the end. I've got a bit of clearance. I've got about this much space above my head at this end here. And I've got loads of shoulder space. I could probably sleep in here with my dog if I wanted. Um, maybe squeeze two people in here. Maybe you and your, your child might squeeze in. If you're taking your young one for a bit of a camping trip, you could probably squeeze in here. But ideally, heaps of space just for a one person setup. That's pretty much all the features of the common instant swagger 1P tent swag, tent, swent, whatever you want to call it. It's a, a matter of opinion on just what you want. I like the word swent because it kind of crosses that bridge between a swag and a tent, doesn't have the integrated mat, but packs up and sort of has the same use case as a swag. If you've got any questions on the swag one, let us know down in the comments below, or check it out on our website where you can find out heaps more information, read up all the details, and you'll find it at our lowest prices every day.